Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm back again, y'all. Told y'all I was gonna try to be back, but um, the holidays kind of took over time, and um, you know, I'm pregnant, and I don't be wanting to do nothing. I keep telling y'all, I be so tired. All I want to do is sleep. But um, I was like, you know what? I gotta try to get me a video in today. Cause I'm going somewhere, so I'm actually going to Lyme because I'm craving Lyme really bad. So I was like, let me just do a video as I get ready. Why not? So as you can see, um, I've already primed my eyelids with um, LA Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, and I did my eyebrows with Anastasia. Beverly Hills in the shade uh, Chocolate, the dip pomade. It's like my favorite to use. Um, someone asked me for a uh, eyebrow tutorial. I mean, I don't really do anything special. I do what everybody else do, <laughs> really. But um, I guess I could give a little tutorial on um, how I do my eyebrows. If that's what y'all want to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you. But um, yeah, I went ahead and I primed my eyelids and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with primer. Uh, this is the primer that I'm going to use. It's the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Base Primer. This primer right here, y'all, I really love this. I just realized, like, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday that I actually really do like this primer. I've had it for a while. It came in one of my boxy charm boxes. And I like it because it's like it's kind of like it's kind of like a thick consistency, creamy. It's not too thick. It's like a nice texture and it's really smooth when it goes on. I I just it feels more like a lotion kind of when you put it on and I love that. And when my makeup is done, I don't know. I feel like it looks, it looks perfect. Like everything sets really well. Oh, it looks like I got some more with, um, my eyelash. But yeah, this primer is. I would definitely recommend that you try it out. It is. You want to make sure that the primer is rubbed really good, really well. And I I really don't know what colors I'm going to go for today. I'm wearing a yellow dress. Let me see. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. My go-to palette is my um, Jaclyn Hill. Palette is like my go-to palette for everything. I always go to this palette for everything. So I think this is the palette I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use that, but the for my transitional color, I'm gonna go in with this. Came out of my boxy charm too. The the this month's November boxy charm. Um, I love this. This palette is just like so beautiful. Look at those colors. So the transitional color that I'm gonna go in with is cinnamon. This color right here, it's really pretty. So that's what I'm gonna use. Started with that. So how was everyone's Thanksgiving? Did anybody, everybody eat a lot of turkey? Y'all let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part of um Thanksgiving? What was your favorite part of your meal? And did anybody go away for the holiday? Did anybody go visit family? Like, what is the tea? Give me some tea. <laughs> me, I just had a little get together at my house. My family came over. We had like a almost like a potluck. And I'm recording now. 
So I'm recording right now and I'm getting dressed. Huh? So, sorry about that, y'all. So I'm like, um, I had family over. We had almost like a potluck, kind of like an exchange. Not an exchange, but like family came over and they, we all brought a dish. I made collard greens, I made stuffing, I made potato salad, I made two hens. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, I pretty much threw down on my collard greens. So like my boyfriend was like, oh my God. Those collard greens are so good. It was my first time making them too. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I ain't gonna lie, even for me, I couldn't stop eating them, so I know that was good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how ours. And then my auntie bought mac and cheese, my mom bought Patty LaBelle sweet potato pie, and um, peach cobbler, which was not the intent. I told her I wanted her to make the peach cobbler, but she didn't feel like making it, so she ended up buying it. And guess what? That Patty LaBelle is doing right now, sitting in the fridge, not getting eaten. So it was like a waste of money, but whatever. And um, she brought this rice. It's like my favorite rice for her to make. It it has like beans in it, corn, it um like a tomatoey taste to it. It's so good. She made that. My grandma made candy yams. Um. She made candy yams. I know I was bought something. Um, I don't know. That was really it. Oh, and I made a ham too. The ham came out really nice. Made it really good. I was happy about that. It was a nice little get together. My family. I love getting together with family. Family is so important, y'all. It was a good day. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this cinnamon color is like a nice brown um, transitional color. It's really nice. I hope you guys can see it. I really hope you can see it. So you want to make sure that your transitional color is nice and blended out. your liking I'm like the blend queen honey I just I the what takes me the longest with my makeup is my blending everybody always complain oh my god you take so long to do makeup da, da, da. Uh, listen if it ain't blended if you want to go looking crazy and unblended child honey be my guest but not me I need to be blended to the gods honey not gonna be out here looking crazy. Y'all be seeing the memes on Instagram. The girls be looking pale, white as hell. No, not me. Not having it. No transitional color. This is this will be like the the um, brush you'll see me use the most during this this video because it's such a great blending brush. So, oh, moving on. So, I'm going to take, I can't even see the colors on here anymore. Um, The second color that I'm going to use is, let's see which one. I think it's, I don't even know which one it is. This one. It's, uh, I think it's Hunt's. It's Hunts out of the Jacqueline Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with that one using the same brush. And you just wanna apply it right underneath where your transitional color is. Thank you. 
Usually I'll be playing music in the background or something, but I didn't have time to do all that. And then my lighting may be looking a little crazy right now because my brother's getting his hair done and they're using my light. So I'm sacrificing my, my lighting. So this is what it should look like so far. Just gonna blend it out soon. So we are good to go. And today we're gonna attempt cut crease. Not a full cut crease though, just, you know, some slight work. <laughs> Cause Lord knows. Me with the dog on cut crease, child. So I'm gonna take my concealer, um, my LA Pro concealer in the color Fawn again, and I'm going to carve. I usually start in the middle, and I look up so it can spot where my my cut should go. And then that's how I know how high I should be cutting. So this is how high I will cut. Are you guys ready for Christmas? I know I am. Like the older you get, it's like Christmas is really just another day. But I still like this time of the year because you get with you get to you know chill with family and stuff like that. Like I said before, but um yeah. So now I'm gonna go in with my M514 Morphe brush, and I'm gonna take the color Cream Sickle. And apply it to my lid. This is really not the brush I should be using for this, but I'm just gonna make it do what it do. So yeah, y'all tell me in the comments below which I want to see more of. You know. I know this week I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna record some of that. They be tripping in there. They don't be wanting you to record pretty much really nothing, but I'm going to anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with um that Hunts from um the Jacqueline Hill palette to blend out blend out the ending. Lay back, so she will lay back almost like a sunset. And we're just gonna carve out the other eye, starting from the middle again. I promise y'all, next video is gonna be better because I'll have my lighting back. Because I feel like you guys can't get the full effect. When I tell y'all, I was like, <sighs> not about to do a video today. <laughs> but I was like, I got to do this because it's been on my mind all week and I couldn't really... I recorded some Thanksgiving footage, which I'm going to post up after this. I just didn't finish really editing it. It's not that much, but just a little bit of footage. It's going to be a quick clip of what was going on. It wasn't really much going on. Just a lot of eating and talking and laughing.
Then I'm going back in with my cream sickle from the Jaclyn Hill palette to lay it on top of the concealer. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and also tell me what other videos y'all want to see. Someone already said they wanted to see an eyebrow tutorial. So, uh, one of these days, try to get on that for y'all. It used to take me forever to do my, um, my eyebrows, to be honest with you. And sometimes it still does. Like, you know, some days you got your good days and you got your bad days with makeup. No. But I guess that's what anything will be. I'm going to go back in with Hunts from the Jack Hill palette to blend out the ends into my cream sickle and I just apply and I'm also going to go back in with the cinnamon from this palette from the Boxy Charm just to go over the top to some more depth. I also know y'all wondering why I got this thing on my head, but I had just washed my hair and I need to put some leave-in conditioner. Don't worry because when I'm done, you guys will see my full look, clothes on and all. This is how it should look. So next, I'm going to go in with my, um, y'all, this right here, this NYX ink pen, the Epic ink, ink Pen Liner. If you don't have one, go get you one because let me tell y'all something. This is like, <sighs> let me tell y'all. Okay, now I got to shut up because when I'm doing my liner, my wing, it'd be like a death to me. Clean it up on the end so it could look this is how I normally clean up my um my wing because you won't get it perfect all the time on the first try you just won't if some people or some makeup artists they're just that good you know they have the hand that they could just boom you know what I'm saying but me I still have to um, clean it up. I still have to clean it up after. <laughs> so, and see, it looks, it comes out good. And then after that, you know, you go over it with your your foundation or whatever.
see this one came out somewhat perfect but I like my wings to be sharp so no matter what I always clean up my um wing because I want it to be sharp oops I'm gonna poke my eye out <laughs> And don't worry, some, most of the time you won't always have perfect um, wings. Like, they won't look the same on each eye. But so now I'm going to apply my lashes. I think somebody else asked me for a lash tutorial too. I can put that in the works as well. I actually got these lashes out of the boxy charm as well. I don't know the names of them though, but they're really nice. So I'm going to use my tart, tartiest mascara first. Now we can go ahead with the lashes. And I'm going to use my ELO Cosmetics. I usually use the black one, which is this one. But as you can see, I use it so much. It's like, they don't even close no more. And it's right out on the inside. So I'm stuck with using the white one. I think the black one gets a little stickier for me. This white one, it doesn't. That's why if I was using the black one, I wouldn't have to put mascara on first. Usually I just put the black one on and apply it to my lash directly. But with this one, I have to add the mascara on first for that extra stickiness. So now we're gonna let it dry a little bit. get a little tacky is what we say tacky <laughs> and then we're just gonna apply it directly let me get a little closer so you can see directly to the center of the lash Y'all hear the mechanic outside? He's talking to my boyfriend. <laughs> About his car. He just got a car, so they're making sure everything is okay. And that's it. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. I'm waiting for this to get tacky again. So as you can see, it's how it looks so far. So, um, this is how it so now we're gonna get into our foundation and I use Mac match master in the shade 8.5 
usually buff it in with this brush. This is another boxy charm item. Actually, I don't know which. Um, I'm not sure which box this came out of, but this definitely came out of one of those boxes. I usually put this, put it, put my foundation on with this first, and then I go back and um, blend it out with the blender. What did he say about the car? You know how much you gonna charge me? How much? <laughs> One forty to do the control. It's from the power steering hose. Mhm. Mm it's like nothing. Yeah. Perfect though. He said it was One forty if I could get it to him. So this. Yeah, that's why he figured out um the the where the leak is coming from. He was like, "You lucky it's not oil." And he said it's a steal. The car was a steal for the price I paid. That's good, baby. So you know it's a good car. My LA Pro concealer in the shade Ron again. up for now i'm just gonna go ahead and blend guys make sure you're well blended well blended and i use rcma my setting powder And I don't let my, um, I never let my, um, setting powder set that long. Because I feel like that's the quickest way to have a flashback. <laughs> so I try to avoid. I'm going to go ahead and brush it out. I went to let me tell y'all how I went to um Ross and I picked up these studio like these are like um paint brushes I guess I went and picked these up uh because I was like they're so sharp like I could use these for makeup like listen best shit ever I use I haven't used all of the brushes yet but I've used two of them one of them I use to lay my eyebrows with and th this one I use to contour my nose with because it's so skinny and precise like look at it I don't know if you can really see but it is like thebomb.com. I'm going to contour with this uh, Becca in Dark Golden. 
perfecting powder. This is what I used to uh, And I kind of buff it out. Buff it right on out. Like that. Like that. Now, mm, I don't really wear blush all the time, y'all, but I guess for the sake of this video, I'll do blush. So I'm going to use this blush palette I have. Sorry, it's dirty, but it's called Cara Blush Palette. I actually got it out of my... I did my makeup classes at, um... What's that damn place called? The Makeup Club. If you're from Miami or Hollywood area, then you know what I'm talking about. I got this blush palette from there. And I don't like a lot of blush either. So this is good. Good enough for me. Can you guys see it? Okay. I'll put my highlighter on later. Right now I'm going to put on liquid liner this is inglot Then I'm going to go in with some of that Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill palette and go underneath my eyes. thing I need to do now is my highlight and I'm gonna put oh this is the highlighter the Becca Becca highlighter it is Prosecco pop that's what I'm gonna use Now for my MAC Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish. And I am done, guys. I'll be back. I'm going to go do my hair, put some.
some conditioner in it and look like a presentable person. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And this is the final look. This is the final look. I kind of like went with muted lips because I didn't know <laughs> what I wanted to do, but I may just change it and do a clear lip. I don't know, just a gloss or something. But yeah. So comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know if you like this look. And if you want to see more looks on this channel.